Howdy, good folks. Mason reigns on the head, not the ass. Also known as Marcus Mason. I decided just to change my name on the fly like that. But look, here's another project I'm working on, which is a work in progress as it sits. And this is my 1967 Ford F100. Now, this in the other video, uh, this is a project that was, uh, I guess, inherit, uh, inherited. This is the first vehicle that I learned how to drive. Now, I'm from the country. I learned how to first drive on this vehicle at the age of nine years old. So, I used to run around in the fields and get stuck all the time. My dad used to come around and cuss me out real good and for getting this vehicle stuck. He had to pull me out several times. But nonetheless, I've just had so many memories with this vehicle, I just could not let it go to the scrapyard. So, I'm gonna take you up close and personal with it. So, here we go. All right. As you can see right now, the grill is in place. It's up for one little piece, like right there, right there, 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 right there. There's a little piece missing. And I have all the um, headlight uh, chrome pieces there with it. And of course, it has like a nice patina to it. It has like a nice little rust patina. I'm not going to mess with it because I think with age, it just kind of gives it a certain character about it. I am going to replace the front fenders on here on the other side. They're not looking all that great. But here's the door on it. And since it is in the condition that it is in, I'm really considering just redoing the whole thing, to be quite honest. Uh, if I keep the fenders, I might put on another one if I should decide to do so. So, yeah, basically that is the deal with that. And um, like I said, it has a beautiful patina as it rusts. The patina is just, it's just so rustic, basically. But um, this engine has a, this truck has a 1974 Ford LGTD motor in it, which is like a 400 cubic inch motor. So the thing, can, it can get up and go. It, can, it was actually used to haul firewood. We used to own property and uh, we used to go out cut wood and load this thing pretty much to the top of the cab and it would just pull it with no problem up heels so um like i said this is part of my 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 history I'm, i refuse to let it go i can't let it go i put it on craigslist several times for sale uh didn't get any good decent hits because you know people want to get things something for nothing nowadays and i don't know you can look at like the bumper here here and all that the truck <clears throat> It's very solid. It's very solid. So uh, I'm actually with this project thinking about uh, taking the 400 out. Actually taking the um, front suspension. Of course, you you see always on YouTube about the projects about the um, Crown Vic front ends. So I hope to find a good cheap Crown Vic front end to put on here as well, and uh, put another rear end in it. I'm gonna take the interior. The interior now has nothing in it because I stripped it out. But I'm gonna take like a uh, Ford Expedition interior and put in here. So red leather seats, modern stuff. So over, this is a project over time basically because right now I have, to, I have bigger fish to fry. But nonetheless, this is the second project that I have. And I've decided to name this project Old Fart because uh, my dad had his vehicle he bought this vehicle. My brother kind of did some remaining fixes to it. And it's a 1967, uh, that's what, 67, 52 years old. So that will qualify to be an old fart. Yeah, Project Old Fart. All right, okay. thank you. If I can get my words out, thank you for checking out my page and uh, stay tuned for updates. If you have any suggestions, any comments whatsoever, feel free to give me a shout on here. Leave your comments below. Shoot me an email, momentwithmason at gmail.com. And uh, let's see what we can get into. Let's just be nice and creative with this because I want to make sure I fulfill my lineage. So anyway, thanks for checking me out, guys. <coughs> <coughs> Piling around here. Thanks for checking me out, guys. Peace.